A 32-year-old female presents with a three-month history of night sweats, fatigue, and a white membranous growth on her tongue that is scraped away when brushing. After extensive workup, you correctly diagnose the patient with HIV. She says that she does not want her boyfriend, who's also a patient of yours, to know the diagnosis because she, quote, isn't ready to tell him yet, end quote. What is the most appropriate immediate action to take? A, start HIV treatment. B, tell the boyfriend. C, do not tell the boyfriend. D, consult the ethics committee. Or E, notify the Center for Disease Control. Now, this can be a bit of a tricky question. Now, it's not intended to be tricky, but it is because our nature, our human nature, is probably opposite what the correct answer is. So I know that if I was a physician, something that I might immediately do is start to treat this patient, but that's actually not the correct answer on USMLE or COMLEX. Because we're dealing with a reportable disease, the correct answer is actually E. You have to notify the CDC. HIV is one of many diseases that you are obligated to report. That is the correct answer when they say what is the most appropriate immediate action to take. The first thing you do is report the disease. So I have a list here of all the diseases that, are, that you have to report. They include hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV as we just discussed, syphilis, gonorrhea, measles, mumps, rubella, chickenpox, tuberculosis, salmonella, and shigella. Now this is, for all intents and purposes, this is the most high yield reportable diseases list. There are one or two more out there, but they're not frequently tested on step one. It is crucial that you know and memorize this list. These are, as I like to call them, free points, all right, free points. You cannot afford to miss this on test day. This is designed to be an easy question, and it would suck if you read a question and just didn't know that you have to report the disease because you want to save the questions that you don't know or the points that you're not going to get for the questions that are ridiculously hard, and this is not one of those. So what we have, what I've done is I've arranged these reportable diseases into a song, and the song is to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And I'm going to sing it to you. I apologize because I don't have the greatest singing voice, but I'm going to sing it to you nonetheless. So here we go. A, B, C, and H, I, V, syphilis and gonorrhea. MMR, chicken pox, TB test your patient's socks, salmonella shigella too, report this shit is what you should do. Okay, again, apologies for my voice, but looking through that song, I bolded where the diseases are. So ABC refers to hepatitis A, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. HIV is obviously HIV. Syphilis, gonorrhea, that's all self-explanatory. MMR is measles, mumps, rubella. Chickenpox is chickenpox, obviously. TB is tuberculosis. And then you have salmonella and shigella. These are high yield, especially if you're taking COMLEX. If you're taking USMLE, these could show up. They don't show up as much as they show up on COMLEX, but on COMLEX, this stuff is routinely tested, okay? High yield. Examiners love to go after this. You have to memorize these reportable diseases. I'm going to sing the song to you one more time, and then if you sing this to yourself maybe three times, you'll never forget it because it's just so fucking stupid. But here we go. A, B, C, and H, I, V, syphilis and gonorrhea, MMR, chicken pox, TB, test your patient's socks, salmonella, shigella too, report this shit is what you should do. All right, guys, good luck.